Hey guys, this is Rick and welcome to the Flat Core server. Well, if you read the title, then you know that this is the uh, season finale for the Flat Core server for me here. Uh, a couple reasons for that. The first reason is that I am going to be not uploading videos to YouTube for at least the near future. We'll see. Um, I may do a random video from time to time, but I'm not going to be doing any more series videos, uh, at least for the near future. And um, the other reason for that is because the map is going to be the the flat core map is going to be reset when 1.8 comes out, and they're going to be starting a new season. And that'll be in you know probably what three or four months. I don't know whenever 1.8 comes out, and whenever Bucket gets updated, then uh, the flat core is going to start their new season. So, and there isn't really much more that I want to do here. I've got a couple little projects of mine. So there may be some a couple bonus videos after this uh, flat core after the season finale here. But it just all depends on whatever. So uh, yeah, so YouTube's basically going to be um, yeah, I'm not going to be doing YouTube videos like I said, except for maybe just a random little video. You know, if I find a good preset or if I uh, discover a good seed I may do a little you know short little couple minute video you know covering those or if I come up with a, or if I you know figure out a little neat little trick or tip or something I might post one of those uh, like I said there may be a couple more bonus videos on this but this is gonna be it this is the last video that I'm doing on a regular series uh, until they start the new season on flat core now am I gonna do a season two on flat core I don't know at this point it just depends on my situation work situation home situation right now I'm just down to basically I'm on record I work overnight on Tuesday nights as you probably know I've, I mentioned it several times before already and so really I, I can only record probably uh, just a little bit on Tuesday mornings in between running errands and all this other kind of stuff that I usually do on Tuesday mornings and it's just not enough I don't have enough uh, time to keep up with doing that kind of this stuff and I'm to be honest I'm kind of losing I've lost some of the motivation to do it as well so I'm going to take let's just call it an extended break because you know people say they're gonna leave YouTube and they're gone for a couple months and then they come back and you know start making videos again and who knows I might do that as well you know it's fun to make videos it really is and it's fun to share them. I like to do it because you know just for the feedback and something new and you know it's uh I'm not making any money on it so I, I'm not even going to monetize my videos anymore uh, if I do produce a video I'm not even gonna bother monetizing them I've believe it or not I've had my YouTube channel since 2011 I think is when I started it because I I was posting uh, gameplay videos just short little gameplay videos of the programs I was writing the games I was writing and stuff and so I just wanted a way to showcase the videos or showcase the program so I wrote uh, I started the channel and so and I've had some websites and I've been on AdSense since the same amount of time since about 2011 so since 2011 I've made a grand total on my AdSense account my balance right now is eight dollars and one cent <laughs> and that's with over a hundred videos on on YouTube and all the stuff I've been doing and, and believe it or not I've been doing this kind of doing the LPs and all this for almost a year now I started in the later part of last year and we're, we're approaching that that time period now uh, the videos were real real kind of crude and simplistic but I did I was producing videos uh, and then of course I got a better computer and I was able to do better videos but it's been almost a year now and you know I'm at I think 87 subscribers and I haven't really gone much past that which is understandable and uh, you know the the quality isn't all that great and, and uh, I'm not the most lively character in the world as far as it comes to videos so but you know I didn't really do it for the subscribers I didn't really do it for for all that kind of stuff I just wanted to do it because I had never done it before and it was something new and give me a chance to kind of talk and express my opinion on things and uh, and it's been fun but uh, I want to move on to some other things uh, if I I'm not going to do any series uh, life in the woods that's 
gone. I'm not going to continue that. It's, it's kind of pointless, to be honest. There's no sense in continuing that. Uh, I've got some uh, Ace Patrol videos scheduled, but when they run out, that's going to be done with. I like that game, though. I'm going to finish that game, but I just won't record anything on it. I don't really get any views on it except for my buddy Falaron, who seems to to watch it on a regular basis. But other than that, I don't really. I get like two or three views on that, so... I don't think anybody really cares about that too much. So, so this, uh, and when season two rolls around on the on the flat core server, uh, I may I may do a season two. But if I do, that's going to be the only series that I do. I'm not going to do anything else. So, uh, and that's just you know just to share with the guys on the server, guys and gals on the server, more than anything else. If I if I do a season two, it'll be because, you know, some of my buddies uh, have asked me to do it. So you know wondering if i was going to do it uh so it but i'm I'm not going to commit to anything at this point it just depends on what's what's going on at the time and that like i said that's probably three or four months down the road as well so this is going to be the last video that i'm actually going to to make other than the fact that uh you know like i said i may do little shorties uh, if i find a good preset or something like that i may post those but as far as regular series videos this is the very last one so what we're going to do on this video is just take a little tour of the homestead. I am really happy with the way this homestead turned out. I posted a picture on Reddit, on both the flat core and the, and the Minecraft uh, Reddits, and everybody seems to like it. Everybody seems to like what I did. So this is just a little wrap-up video to just kind of look at the place. I'm not going to do much more on this. I have one project that I want to do that's going to carry me through the season. And like I said, I'll probably post a... A little shorty video on that just a bonus video and that silly little project that you that if you watch the video on the wall you might have saw it I'm gonna do that and I'll probably post a little shorty on that as well and those would be a couple little bonus videos that'll be coming out here other than that I'm not going to be doing anything else there won't be any any other flat core videos other than those couple bonus videos if I can get to it and uh, this will be it. So, And I'm not going to really do much on the homestead here. I'm still going to be on the server, though. So if you're on the server and you're watching this, uh, no frets, no worries. Um, I'll still be on the server and play and tinker around with stuff and, uh, you know, just just to play on the server. I won't have, I'm not going to worry about recording anything or anything like that. So a so, little tour. Uh, this, of course, as you've seen, is my attic and storage area. And uh, yeah, I really like the way this turned out. Some uh, some armor that I, I I made the iron armor, but the rest of this I've just gathered off of mobs. And right now I'm just wearing some some mob armor that I got off skeletons and whatnot. So, uh, but yeah, I collected uh, some some decent resources here. The farm is just doing super good for my flower farm, potatoes, and. Uh, stuff and what I'm going to be doing uh, for those of you that are watching the server uh, and I'm going to be putting out some uh, uh, sort of little produce area out there that'll be public that so if you're in this area and let's show my coordinates these are my coordinates here of the homestead so about minus 2,000 2800 easy way to think about it uh, I'm going to be putting some uh, chests out there set up a little uh, produce stand and if you're in the area come by and you can grab some some food for free I might put a little donation chest out there beside it so if you uh, feel inclined you can leave a donation but as you can see I have a lot of room in here that I just never did use <laughs> and what do we got in there oh we got some chicken and so uh, uh oh hang on a second Okay, had to take care of that stupid phone. <laughs> oh, man. So, anyways, uh, set up a little automatic smelter thing. But, yeah, let's take go down and take a look at the house. This was the first time I ever really did any sort of interior design kind of stuff on a house. I think it turned out okay. It's not the best in the world. I found Lucy the Axe in a uh, camp. And that's one of those uh, special axes that... Let's see if we can take a look at it here. It's got knockback one and breaking three and efficiency two on it. And uh, there was a challenge. If you could find one of these, you would put it in a chest and you get some uh, get some bonus points. 
that's a common sight right there. But yeah, I thought this uh, interior design looked out sort of a little kitchen area. You know, not the best in the world. I'm not the uh, I'm not the best uh, designer. Could have put a thing, put a um, painting up there, I guess. Uh, and this uh, jukebox was from Danny Whoever, and uh, got a couple music discs. One of the discs was from. Uh, uh, King over there and then the other one was from Danny I think I don't remember what's I think, what's in there this is the one I think I got from King or was it Danny I'm not sure yeah I think that's the one I got from Danny but I don't know for sure let's turn that down just here a little background music for us here uh, I never did use that furnace for anything. <laughs> Let's go down just a hair more. I like this song, though. So I'm really pleased with the way the house turned out. I think it turned out really nice. Let's start here in the back, and we're just going to look at all the different stuff that I did. A lot of, uh, a lot of terraforming. Not terraforming, but uh, landscaping. Did a lot of landscaping. This was one of the first things I built. I honestly don't remember what the order of stuff that I built in. But if you remember, if you've watched any of the videos, this used to be a, my food farm. And of course, I converted it over to the um, pumpkin and melon farm. Oh, and these, <laughs> these dirt blocks are so I could get the grass growing up here. That's what that was all about. And actually, you know what? This is probably not going to work since I've had that there. So we're just going to do that jump on that there that way the grass will come up this way but uh oh let's see i've got two two musics going on at the same time there we go uh and this is the watermelon farm which i've really never used for anything so yeah uh no potions or anything and i don't use watermelon for eating so but you know i just wanted to have it new wall we'll look at that here in a little bit and this is my tree farm. Oops. And these trees. You know, I should have got my sounds all fixed. Uh, set up before I got online. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I really wasn't thinking about it, though, to be honest. I broke my sword, but that one was about dead anyway. So, oh, someone's been here, it looks like, or I forgot to close the door. So yeah, their tree farm. I really like the way this turned out. I thought the design on it was was uh, quite good. Uh, I'm really pleased with it. I think it looks really nice. You got some depth to it. Some good contrasting colors there. So yeah, I really like that. This is of course the uh, my little fishing hole here that uh, I did some stuff with. You notice I'm missing some um, lily pads here, and that's because I set up a little water feature here and a little place just to sit down and enjoy the enjoy the day or the night or whatever yeah i uh i had this area here open and i just really it wasn't big enough to really do much of anything so i just made a little little sitting area a little bench you know and then this uh once i did uh i I built Panda's little fishing, AFK fishing farm here, which you've seen probably a thousand times or more. So really nothing to talk about there. But I wanted that because, you know, this on the flat world, uh, on super flat, having an, a fish farm is very helpful because you can get things like lily pads that you normally can't get otherwise. So, uh, yeah, they're they're really nice to have. And so I just built yeah, Panda's... Uh, little fish farm there and um uh geek hideout i was short six redstone and geek hideout was kind enough to to give me some and i had this little area here open and it's like what do i do with it so i just decided to put in a little fountain water feature kind of thing and probably could have done a better job on it uh it doesn't doesn't look the best in the world but you know it's it just something to look at and i like the sound of the running water it's kind of nice it's kind of soothing and of course, you know, the fish pond over here is all set up in kind of the same way. As you can tell, I like the trees and I like the grass and 
doing all that kind of stuff. So, uh, and here, this is the um, flower farm. And uh, basically, you just take bone meal and spam it and then get the flowers. And it's set up so it kind of covers the majority of the area that you have for uh, flowers. I think it's like an 8x8 eight eight area or something like that. Uh, that it bone meals in, you know, something close to it. Uh, kind of random, but uh, yeah, so that covers that pretty well. And real simple design and nothing fancy there. Uh, and again, this is just, uh, whoops, this is just uh, a little park area here to kind of separate the two areas. Now, these are my uh, animal pens, which I really thought they turned out really nice. And as you notice, there used to be chickens here. Well, now there's pigs. I went and grabbed a couple pigs that were over there uh, that had spawned and brought them in here so we can have some, some pork chops. And, oh, you notice I did a little bit of, uh, little, did a little bit of, uh, fancying up with the, uh, hay bales and stuff here, just to give it kind of a barnyard look. And there's the sheep. I've seen that. And then, of course, the cows are here. So, and then over here was my enchanting table. And I like the way this turned out. I think this turned out really nice. I'm real pleased with it sort of a uh, kind of a I don't know rustic feel to it I guess sort of a natural you know natural magic magic of the nature magic of nature I guess whatever <laughs> I don't know what you call it but uh, yeah I like the way that turned out so and then here's the forge and I did this for one of the challenges but uh, I'll tell you it really came in handy and it's going to come in handy for a pro for the uh, project that I mentioned the large larger scale project that's going to take me through to the end of the season I'm going to be cooking up a lot of a lot of uh, stone there so that that's been very useful and uh, I thought the design was okay it probably could have been better but yeah it was my first attempt at it and then of course here is my uh, my uh, cobblestone generator and I really like this design the original design I got off of reddit and I made some changes to it but you know, basically what you do on this setup here is you get right about here and you set your click lock to on in Windows. Go into Windows Control Panel and go into your mouse settings. And if you're running Windows 7 at least, uh, there's a setting in there called uh, Turn Click Lock On. And when you do that and hold down your left mouse button, it'll continue to hold that down. So I can just sit there at AFK and collect tons of cobblestone because there's a hopper there's a hopper right there so when this thing breaks the hopper catches it and puts it in the chest so you don't lose anything uh, they'll pop up every once in a while over here and on top there but generally speaking that hopper will catch just about everything and then here if you remember was a failed mob farm which I have turned into a uh, farming tower and this thing it just produces a ton of food I mean more food than I can ever use which is why I'm gonna set up a little produce shop outside and so uh, yeah that might be another little bonus video as well I say this is a season finale but I've already got three more videos scheduled I swear I'll tell you it's hard to get out of get off this YouTube thing <laughs> once you get on there it's like a cult it's like a cult it sucks you in you can never get away from it so uh, I'm really happy with this farming tower I think it's a better farming tower. <laughs> it's a better it it's a better as a farming tower than it is as a um, as a mob farm here and of course uh, the wall video has already been published that's coming out there's gonna be a kind of a part two to that that will be coming out next week uh, well, not next week for this, but we'll be coming out after the wall video. Uh, you know, this will be the last video, obviously, that will that will come out. So those other videos will have already been published by the time this comes out. But uh, this is sort of the... Oh, I got this idea. The little pressure plates are from... Uh, I got the idea from Danny's set up because he had them set up and I thought you know why didn't I ever why didn't I ever think of that so I added some there but here's the little entrance to the homestead uh, just 
I don't know. I just wanted a little something to kind of set off the entrance. This was my challenge chest, which... Uh, oh, okay. I can actually take that. And I'll probably set the little produce stand right here. And uh, we'll see if it lasts. It'll probably... Someone will probably come along and steal everything, but uh, it'll be there. Uh, we'll at least attempt to be there. But this is the wall. Now I have the... Uh, overhang there because of spiders they can't can't get up there they could otherwise if i didn't have this overhang they could climb right up over the top of that so uh even with it with the half slab even with this half flat slab even with this slab level here they could still climb up to it because see it's not does it overhang enough so they can go right over the top of it but yeah i thought the wall turned out really nice i like it and uh Probably for the next season. I have, uh, I've already have an idea of what I'm going to do for the next season. I uh, for season two on the um, on the uh, flat core server here, and uh, but I'm not going to I'm not going to divulge it at this point. But yeah, it's going to be a nice big project, something that'll carry me through. I think that season. Uh, but I am really happy with the way the homestead turned out. So let's go do an overview of it here real quick. This is kind of the what I did when I when I made the picture of it. But let's just kind of take a look at it. We can kind of get a good good overview of what the what the homestead looks like from above. Yeah, this is probably good here. Let's go up. My shovel's about dead. I don't know if it'll get me through or not. Is this high enough? Let's go a little bit higher. That's pretty good. Can't really see the stuff in the back too well, but there it is. That's sort of the overview of it. I thought it thinks it, I think it turned out really, really nice. I am very pleased with with how this turned out. You've got a good, you know, you sort of got the uh, got the farm, farming area here. Uh, well, it's all farming, of course. It's a homestead, so it's it's a it's a farm. Uh, but uh, yeah, some aesthetics going on there. A uh, little enchanting center here. You can't really see the backside too much, but uh, yeah, stackable farm. So there it is, a homestead. And uh, I think I may just for the heck of it plant trees around around the perimeter just to I've got all those saplings in there that I can use and uh, yeah I just might plant trees around the perimeter just to kind of set it off a little bit they'll be outside the claim area so if you need some trees you can come up come through and grab a couple just just replant them that'd be awesome if you could that's King's place there but I haven't seen him for a while so I'm not sure what he's up to but uh, and of course there's Geek's place over there which is just a sprawling <laughs> industrial complex whatever i don't know how that guy has the time to do all that stuff to be honest it's crazy he's uh, he's always on the server always on the server so yeah he's got some good stuff going on over there it's amazing so there you have it the homestead and as i said there'll probably be a couple more videos coming out two or three maybe but they're all going to be really shorty videos and uh just to kind of let to, to let you know what i'm doing as far as the couple little projects one's going to be a fun little project that you've seen if you watch the wall video you've seen it already i'm going to do that and i'll do a little shorty on that and then i've got one more project plan that i'm going to put over here and um it's going to be my nether portal set area which i don't really need it but i just want to do it to kind of i don't know just sort of cap off the cap off the uh the homestead here before the new season starts and i'll do a short little video on that if i can get it complete well i'll, I'll do a video on it regardless of whether i can complete it or not but it's a big uh, it's a big project so it's going to take a lot of me getting stone and and um you know cooking up stone and cobble you know gen getting cobblestone and then cooking it up so because i want it to be a, a fairly good sized project uh, but we'll see but i'm whether i finish it or not who knows but I'll probably do a little shorter video on that and if i build a little produce stand here i might do a little shorty video on that as well so but this is the last official video of the flat core season this is the last official video of my channel as far as series are 
concerned. Like I said, I'll do little shorty videos, but nothing major. And then uh, for season two of the flat core, or for the next season, it's not season two for them, but it'd be season two for me on the flat core server. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what's going on. I'm not going to commit to anything at this point because, uh, to be honest, I just don't know what's, you know, that's probably at least three or four months down the road. So we'll see what's going on then. But, uh, yeah, I know I know some people have, have said to me that they'd like to see a season two. So uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see when we get there what happens. And it really depends on what's going on on the server. It sounds like the changes they're going to do for the next season are going to be really, really interesting. So I just may do it. But like I said, I'm not going to commit to anything at this point. So for all you guys and gals that have supported me, I appreciate it. Uh, YouTube, this YouTube thing's been kind of, it's been a lot of fun and I've made a bunch of good friends, but, uh, you know, it's just time for me to move on to other stuff. I've got other projects I want to work on, programming, writing, that kind of stuff. And, um, uh, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and do that for a while. Uh, I'm not going to say I'm going to quit YouTube because, uh, you know, I'll probably, I may be back for season two of the flat core on my channel. Uh, but if I don't, I'm still probably going to post a, a random video from time to time just for the heck of it. But uh, yeah, so this will be this is kind of wrapping up my my channel in a way. Uh, I probably won't get back to it like I did before. You know, I, I started this out kind of you know really gangbusters and doing video every week and stuff. But then you know real life just caught up to me and I wasn't able to do it. And I haven't been able to do it since. And I've just decided that you know real life is is. At this point, right now, at least with with uh, you know with my daughter living with us and the, and the little ones running around and everything else going on job wise and schedule wise and stuff that I just I just can't do it. But it has been fun and I appreciate the support. And uh, you know I, I don't know what the future's going to hold. None of us do. So uh, you know who knows. But uh, at this point in time, at least I don't plan on coming back and in any sort of you know regular basis at all it'll just be random videos and if i do come back on a re regular basis it will probably be a flat core video uh i have no plans to do any sort of lp on 1.8 or anything like that i just you know i think i've i think i've done it uh i've kind of got the youtube thing out of my system I, I wanted to try it wanted to have fun with it i have it's been almost a year honestly so you know that's not bad um, you know a lot of people don't even last that long so yeah it's been almost a year and uh, of course my channel's been around for a long time and I'll probably get back to the original purpose of my channel which was to post gameplay videos of my programs I have several game programs that I want to do work on you know a sequel to my role-playing game and uh, a couple other ideas that I've had sort of a, if you back in the day there used to be uh, books called choose your own adventure and uh, then after those came out, there was a whole bunch of other ones kind that came out. Some incorporated role-playing games. And I thought, you know what, I'm a writer. I like to write, so I like to program. So I thought maybe I might do a little choose-your-own-adventure with some role-playing aspects to it. You know, so it's sort of like a book with a role-playing aspect to it. So uh, <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, there's other things I want to do. I've had fun, though. Uh, thank you, everyone that has subscribed and have uh, stuck with us and stuck with me and uh, commented and liked and did all that kind of stuff and I wish all of you the best I'll still be watching the videos I've cut my subscription list down to just a handful of people though because I just can't keep up with all, with everybody so uh, yeah but there's a I there's a few people that I'm still gonna watch although you know the list is is pretty small at this point it won't be won't be getting any bigger either because you know watching videos takes time just as making videos takes time so and there's other things I want to do as well so but uh, appreciate everybody. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the, the fun. Um, I wish everybody the very best. Like I said, you'll see me from time to time, but nothing, nothing major. So just going to move on to other things. So as always, I really appreciate you watching. Thank you for the support. And I will talk to you in the next one, whenever that will be. Goodbye.